Hello programmers, welcome back to my channel. First of all, this tutorial is made in Swift 4 on Xcode 9, but if you are still using Swift 3, then this should work fine for you. Okay, so today we will learn how to change view controller or perform segue. There are two ways of performing segue. One is using storyboard and another is using code. I will show both the methods here. So let's get started. Here I have already created a project. Uh, name perform segue so on the main dot storyboard I already have a view controller so I will drag and drop two uh, two diff two view controllers so for one view controller I will show you the storyboard method and for another one I will show you the code method so here I have three view controllers and I will change the background colors first so this will be let's I have predefined colors gray Let's make it uh, blue and uh, let's say red, okay? And I will have a button in both the view controllers. So I'll just put it here, increase the size. Width will be 250 and height will be 75. And I will increase the text size as well. So let's make it 25. Okay, and just put this in between and say, go to to and just uh, press command D okay and put this one here and say go to three and we are done for the basic method it's just like clicking the button and uh, press control and drag to the new uh, next view controller and just leave it and select your action segue as show okay so it's done and let's run our application Okay, so when you press go to two, it shows uh, the next view controller. This button is still not working because I will show you another method for go to three button. So for the code method, we will need a Swift file for this view controller. So just right click on the folder and say new file and Cocoa Touch class and name uh, class will be second view controller and it will be subclass of UI view controller. Just hit next, create. And so here we have it, just rearrange the stuff. And on the main.storyboard, uh, select your second view controller uh, using this yellow button and click on this button, which is identity inspector. And under class, just start typing second and hit enter. So we need to bind our code file with the view controller. So that's what we did. And now we will connect the button with the code. So here is my go to three button. And I will just control drag it over here and say go to rest and it will be an action performed by UI button and say connect. Okay. So, okay. Uh, we need to do one more thing. So last time we uh, control dragged from the button, but this time we will control drag from the view controller. So it will be show and we need to give name to this, uh, segue so just select the segue here and go to identity inspector and give it identifier um, let's say third third uh, or we can say like go to third and uh, remember this name so because we will be using this to perform segue so just uh, press command c copy the name and under the uh, second view controller file so go to the action and just say perform segue with identifier and it will be the name you just copied and sender will be self. So let's run the application one more time. Okay, so the application is loaded. Say go to two, go to three and it's working. Now uh, let's create a way of going back to our view controller. So on the main.storyboard, Select your first view controller, uh, the yellow button. It will select the view controller. So when you press this, it selects the view, as you can see it here. And if you select yellow button, it will select the view controller. So go to editor and just say embed in navigation controller. So this will give like that back button to us. So you can easily go back to your previous views, previous view controllers. So when you press go to two, 
you get back button over here you can go back to your first view controller or else you can go to three and do two times back so that's the easy way of performing segway on swift 4 and this method will definitely work uh, with swift 3 so thank you guys keep watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos